fancy what's fancy violence fancy yeah, do, you, I like, do you kill him and then do the uh the stanky leg <laughs> Computer? Wait, what's can, what's wait, wait. Now it's the big moment. What? Let's talk to Agnes about the next update. <laughs> Let's go. I'm back. Please, please don't disappoint me. It's dark. It's creepy. <laughs> what is it? Absolutely. It's gonna be the Halloween I mean, update. It's gonna be the fucking Halloween update. We're gonna, we're gonna have pumpkins and, and stuff. I, I just want, I just want a new biome or a new dimension. We're gonna get a new biome. Where we're going. <laughs> Thank you. That was, that was very sweet of you. And of course, we managed to lead it together. But I, like, I'm like the creative lead, yeah. and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy about that. But it feels quite surreal because you know, I also used, used to be a Minecraft player and love this game, and it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy and lucky to be here. <laughs> yes, I think we all feel that way. And it's so cool having so many people on the team who play and love it and mm. care about it. And like, we all feel like, I mean, we are part of the community too. Yes, we definitely are. And now, Agnes, okay. you are going to reveal to <laughs> us. Please don't disappoint me. Next update. Please don't disappoint me. <laughs> okay. Come so on. The next update is called <gasps> the wild update. What? Oh, okay. Oh. The wild. Oh. Wait, jungles. Wild Wait, jungles. Jungles got updated. Very, very intriguing. So, what does it include? So, the word wild. Please swamp biomes. Means, like, two things for us. Swamp so the first thing is like beautiful nature. Okay. And the second thing is like really scary challenges and adventures. Oh, you were right. Oh, that's yes. awesome. And so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have. Some of our gameplay designers come and tell us more about specific things about the wild update because there's these different parts to it. And we have the first one here, which is our deep dark expert, Brandon. Hello. Hi, Brandon. Hi. It's Welcome. deep dark. It's deep dark. It's the warden. No, they're going to move it to 2022. Oh, no. This update. Can you talk to us more about why? Yes, I mean, one of the biggest things about the Deep Dark and the Warden and the Skulk is that it's just expanded and yeah. gotten bigger, and we have we really wanted to make sure that we did this right and that we didn't just rush it. Um, that includes even unique loot inside the Deep Dark as well. And, yeah. Um, we also want to make sure that uh, we... Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's actually look at some of the new things that we have in it right now, which is the ancient cities. What? That's awesome. I can't huh? believe. Oh, wow. New biome. Oh, nice. Underground new biome. This is what I was thinking of. I was like, where's the warden going to spawn? Oh, I like that sound effect. This is where the warden spawns. And this is how you get those those sensors. How do you find this place? You, you, you don't. This place is really hard to find. like tomb raider wait do warden spawn here because if that's if that's true then that means people are gonna build build farms here yeah wow it's like both beautiful and terrifying at the same like i have so many emotions when <laughs> i look at that deep dark biome yes i mean we really didn't want the deep dark biome to just be you know caves or just skulks spread around we wanted it to add a bit more mystery to it um, and, you know, there's this ancient city, and what is it doing there? We're not going to tell the players. We're just going to let them go throughout and explore and see what they come to. Um, and there's even this, like, ancient structure in the middle of every single city, and it's got something interesting about it that you're going to have to explore in-game. Okay. It's really cool. I, I, like, it feels like a place you want to explore. Yes. I love that it really deepens the mystery of Minecraft. Like, Minecraft is all about player stories, and Deep Dark definitely inspires the storytelling, I think. 
That's so cool. And so last year you showed us the Skulk sensor, but I know you've been working on it. A little Skulk family? <gasps> a, a, a Skulk family? <laughs> they're going to ta actually talk about the new blocks? So they're not so friendly, no. Yeah, last year we focused a lot on the is Skulk it, sensor. Is this going to be corruption? Then we've kind of been trying to figure out what do all the different blocks in the Skulk family do. And one of them actually is something called a Skulk catalyst. <sighs> And the main thing, thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. Oh, as you can what? see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads Skulk underneath it. And the amount huh? is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. Wow. Oh. So does, it, does it take the XP? The deep dark, it's kind of overgrown with all the Skulk blocks, so that means that lots of mobs must have died there. Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is balanced because it is, it, it's corruption, yeah, here, but it's based off of how many mobs you've killed around it. It won't spread unless you kill mobs around it. Yes, and of course, that's, still that's get fair. I'm good with that. That's fine. Just use a silk touch. And then we have the skunk shrieker. What? <laughs> so when this block is activated, what the? It's gonna give that really scary shriek sound that we hear heard now, <gasps> and well, it also gives this darkness effect. So it's like it pulls the what? darkness. What? Wait, you could build traps with that? <laughs> oh, this is good for like horror maps. Yeah, that is. Wow. Okay, definitely not a friendly family. No. And I will say to our younger viewers, in a in a minute, we're gonna show you a clip that's a little scarier. But uh, I just ooh. Brandon, just show us the warden so again. Just show us the warden. That players can do with them. Like, yeah. what do you imagine them doing? I think the skull catalyst is gonna be really interesting because, you know, when you you could create a mob farm with a like through the tech community. Um, you could. Usually when a mob dies, it doesn't drop XP unless you, the player, actually kills it. So with this, you might be able to create some sort of XP farm. Ooh. There's lots of opportunities. That's cool. And you can be like... Wait, he's actually, he's actually talking about farms? Like, Wait. imagine building like a haunted mansion or a really dark forest. He, he's encouraging farms? <laughs> <laughs> so then, you know, I thought Minecraft didn't like farms because the we had the, uh, like, the automatic fish farm. <laughs> AFK fish farm. You do that all around your world and just whenever anyone's visiting well, I'm you. not gonna visit your world. <laughs> Shriekers are just shrieking. We have a community question for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's Jane Jump from Germany and my question is what was the inspiration behind the Schlappenhagen, Bogenhagen. She's yeah, speaking I mean, English. An interesting question. From the art side, we actually had the inspiration behind the human larynx, which is like the vocal cord or vocal structure or something. Just something that represents kind of creating sounds. And from the gameplay perspective, we wanted to make sure that, first of all, the warden spawns in a unique way, and also in a way that you can avoid it. So usually you can kind of sneak around, and as long as you don't activate the uh, skulk shriekers, then the warden won't come. But if you do make too many noises and the Skulk Shrieker activates too many times, the Warden will come. Yes! There we go. Finally! Finally give me the Warden! What? What's that thing? Oh, the... Oh, it, it, it's the Shrieker. Okay, cool. Wait, that loot actually sucks. Wait, what? Here we go. The Warden. The spookiness. Dude. He has netherite armor in this in this video. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa. What the what the Is that him? Fetch me their souls. Fetch me their souls. Okay, yep, he 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 ha he has netherite armor. He just opened his inventory to see if he has never netherite armor. Oh, there he is. Uh Don't I'm need to sound, brother. Dude, I didn't know this was a horror game. Snowballs. I'm just gonna carry snowballs with me all the time now. Portal? This is like Resident Evil. Up, oh, he, yep, he's running. <laughs> Back to that did seven that hearts. Very adorable and 
<laughs> Who wow. hits and he's dead? Netherite armor, seven hearts. The first thing is that the warden actually emerges underground. So it wasn't enchanted, by the way. The it wasn't enchanted. Deep dark in the walls, under the floor. And it also has developed a sense of smell. So, of course, you can sneak around and try to be, you know, quiet and not de get detected. But unfortunately, the warden's still going to be able to sniff you out and find where you are. And if it sniffs you while you're really close by, then it's going to start noticing you. Wait, so basically the warden is like, you smell that? It's happening. And just like going for the Pretty flavor? much, yes. Oh. It's not going to be fun for you. No, and I love that we're adding that, like, uh, sinking gameplay because we haven't really had that before so you know we are in the deep dark everything's super dark <laughs> give me sinking, more on the wild treasures trying to avoid the i want to know what's the wild fighting with that it's really really cool i mean i think you have definitely upped the terrifying level brandon and i <laughs> just love how much you've expanded the deep dark to feel it's so it's so immersive yes definitely it's really amazing thank you so much for joining us and and scaring us half to death. No worries, that's my job. <laughs> he, yeah, he's our expert. Like, if you want to do something scary, it's like, Brando! <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Thank you Thank so much, you. panel. So, Agnes, the deep dark is one part, this yep. sort of very adventurous side of the wild update, which the name is starting to mm -hmm. really become clear after talking to Brandon. And then the other part you said is really this more of that beauty and you know the atmosphere of minecraft yes so we want to like celebrate the wilderness of minecraft okay and one thing please we'll swamp immersion. swamp so biomes we minecraft, we really want to better that you're inside the minecraft world actually like we are now <laughs> it's so beautiful and we also have, want to focus or have focused on biome diversity so we want to find like unique what? identity what? to different biomes. Oh, for example, cool. the birch forest. As that's cool. See, beautiful the mushrooms growing on the, the side. The birch forest you want it to be like light and peaceful, and the sun reaches the ground. The trees are taller and there's flower flowers things like that. It's really beautiful. It looks very Swedish. I just want a swamp update. <laughs> the swamp true. is worthless. <laughs> it's actually a very Swedish forest. Yeah, Except for slimes, but don't have, really so even, even need them anyway. You want to add more atmosphere to the different biomes, but there's one biome that you want... I mean, I would say you're giving it quite an overhaul. It's getting a lot more in the yes. wild update. Yes, that's true, and that's the swamp. Yes! Oh, <laughs> our art team is just so... Yes! so such a beautiful concept art, and as you can see here... We finally got a swamp really update! Finally, the, the swamp, the swamp gets updated. It really is. It's amazing. So we have another I one thought of he was he was gonna say the desert for a second, and I was gonna like Corey, cry. Welcome, Corey. Hi, Corey. Hey, it's absolutely wild to be here. <laughs> oh no, Corey! The puns are so quick <laughs> to start. We need Corey after all. <laughs> yeah, it's very on brand. <laughs> the swamp so finally gets updated. About all of the ex I mean, there's a lot of exciting oh. things coming to the swamp. So what are we getting? Yes, there are a lot of awesome things coming. The first of which is the boat with the chest in it. Boat, 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 wait, boat with a chest? Chest boat. Boat, chest. boat, boat with a chest. Bro, with the boat chest. Everyone's saying win. Everyone's saying win on Twitter. They're like win, dub. The, this is a This is a win now. It's funny it's so because they tried doing it earlier Especially and they and we said no, we so they're just doing it again. Yeah, and like in the aquifers as well. <gasps> yes, so like when you go rafting, in the case you can like put your diamonds in the chest in your boat. Oh, it's really, really nice. amazing. And you've been working on what I think now will be my favorite tree in Minecraft. Yes, we are adding the mangrove tree to Minecraft. What? So as you can see here, this is a propagule. What? Propagules grow from Wait, mangrove trees. They're that's actually, actually like cool. Ready to grow, uh, mangrove mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. And you can see here the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, the it has swamp vines hanging what? down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves. So now themselves. the swamp isn't as useless. And I really like Finally. how the propagules are looking here. And okay, I'm just gonna nerd out on propagules yes, for a minute. Love okay, so in real life, the propagules grow, like I said, from the mangrove tree. And then when they fall into the water, or like let's say they fall into water, they can float for up to a year before they plant themselves in the, the like water, under, underneath the water or on land, wherever they happen to land. 
and mangrove trees themselves are this guy gets a boner for mangroves systems fighting climate change for local communities they're just super trees and i'm really really excited that we're adding them to minecraft that's awesome and this is the spruce sapling that you can plant underwater yeah you can plant it underwater and on land as well that's so, so cool long. when you first showed me the mangroves and you talked about Coolest. your favorite thing the prop jewels i actually remember playing in mangroves in florida and we would use them oh. to like write in the, the sand because they're super cool <laughs> okay so i tweeted in it in minecraft is just so so exciting and of course i'm so happy tree, the swamp got updated be a new wood type yes. yep so new wood type do come with a new wood type thank like, you when we add a new tree we are so happy like we get so many questions from the community like will there be a new wood type? oh that, that, that that's your <laughs> struggle and therefore we're so happy that we were able yeah. to add a new wood type for the i'm not i'm not gonna be using that and but whatever it, I'm, I'm just glad the swamp gets updated and finally don't see like all the blocks here it's gonna be like a full set for the wood types so it's gonna be like doors and trap doors and so on oh trap wait i might Horses. actually use the trap doors <laughs> I'm like, I'm very excited about mangroves, but I just need to mention another thing. Because <laughs> we, we decided to go with like really big roots, and I think those are so cool. And we actually prototyped quite a lot back and forth. And it was a bit tricky to decide how the roots should look like, as you see in this picture here. But now I'm so happy that we went with the like multi block roots. Because, for example, when you like go with the, a boat, and then you can go under the mangroves. And I think that adds such a nice <sighs> feeling to it. Yeah, like in this picture. It's really nice with water. That's I, beautiful. I, I really agree. And like when I was testing, I really loved that feeling of like being underneath it, being yeah. like this this huge feeling. And I, I wanted more. I wanted to be surrounded by mangroves. So I was like, hmm, why don't I just make a mangrove swamp biome where I'm completely surrounded by them? So as you can oh see my in this video, gosh. Around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. It's just Finally. mangroves as far as the eye can see, just like in real life. And you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots growing in the water so you can take your boat underneath like agnes likes <laughs> and you're just completely what, surrounded what, what's that new dirt block it. it's so beautiful oh and i mean during the sunset every time i was testing i would actually like pause the day night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamps it's super beautiful that's absolutely gorgeous i noticed that that was not dirt good eye lydia yep <laughs> <laughs> dirt, otherwise known as mud <laughs> Oh, wait, mud's That's in the game? That's amazing. So you've actually added mud to do something really No cool. way. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is That's if you take a dirt sick. block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will what? Sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which what? turns into clay. What? I what? love that. Wait, that's clay. actually like, I sick. Always need more bricks. There's there's a way to get clay without yeah, finding it now. Mason isn't going to be super happy with you. <laughs> that's actually true. I I have this one Mason that Simon. You can Mason make clay. I always trade with them. You're taking a villager's <laughs> job. They might be a bit upset now. Yeah. I need renewable clay. Yeah, it's really really cool. And you're also uh, using mud to make a new block. Hold on. Yes, we're also adding mud bricks. It hasn't so fully happened yet. Really, really exciting, like building block. And as you can see here, the the brick texture is actually different Mud than the other stone bricks that we have in the game. I really Wait, like so that. Sort of yeah, smaller, that's sick. More compact, but it is really cool, like to build with. What's that door? Wait, what's that door? Sets, and I, I'm really excited to build with them. I just love the look of that. Is that the new awesome. wood thing door? So beautiful. We have a creator question for the two of you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. どうもこんにちは。ピチピチです。私からの質問はこちらになります。どうしてドロレンガを追加することにしたのでしょうか？Why? I'm so excited they asked this question because I really wanted to answer it. So the main reason that I wanted to add mud bricks to the game is that I really wanted people to feel like they're okay. All around the world, there are houses built out of mud bricks. So many people around the the world have houses, buildings using mud bricks, and I really wanted people who are playing Minecraft to feel like they could build their home and feel like they're at home in Minecraft. So really glad we got to add them for that. Amazing. Yes, I mean it's so important for us that like everyone feels equally welcome when playing Minecraft. Okay. Oh, that is that is absolutely amazing. Now, so we have. Like amazing new trees, we have mud everywhere. <laughs> we definitely need something very cute. Uh, yes. Frog. 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 Yes. Woo! It's so funny because this was the vote they wanted. They wanted people to people to vote for this, 
but the goat overthrew it, so they just added it themselves. Well, they got they, we got frogs now. Finally, wait, drip drip leaf is is coming to the swamp. They are. That makes sense. Derpy. That's the perfect description of them. <laughs> The croaking is amazing. <laughs> and did you see the one that jumped like backwards? <laughs> one fell in the water. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. And they do, like, they do Ribbit. love to jump around. Ribbit. And especially on Everyone's Ribbit. saying dub <laughs> in, in also Twitter. Oh my god, are they, like they, are they actually? They're like, they win, win. And when they jump on top of the big drip leaves, it's gonna tilt and then it's gonna bounce. One of them did, it just... <laughs> Maybe it's a, like, frog slide. <laughs> the swamp isn't and useless. Thank little, goodness. Little tiny creature. Tiny That's all I wanted. The fireflies. Oh, ah, fireflies! Oh, That's so around, cool. A lot of ambience to the swamp, making it feel just nice and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world. Can you collect them? Of course like you can, right? All around you, and you have the oh, yeah, also yeah. Their frog poop. <laughs> The yeah, frog. Oh my frog god, fish. she looks so good. Oh, fireflies. Oh my god, I love it. I want a, I want a frog plush. It looks so cute. I'm guessing the frogs can be different colors too. Now, we're calling them fireflies, but Corey, is that what you called them growing up? Actually, no. We called them lightning bugs. I did too. And in Swedish, it's it's eldflugor, and that's actually literally translates to fireflies. Okay. <laughs> It's, a, okay. it's very interesting. It became like a lot of people talking about what you called it growing up, but we're really excited to have fireflies. fireflies or lightning bugs in the game. I want to know more about baby frogs. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. oh, tadpoles, tadpoles, tadpoles. Minecraft, they're just like tiny versions of the grown ups, but with frogs, we're actually adding tadpoles. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Oh. It's no, everything you. I wanted. It's everything I wanted in this game. I love it. Oh my god. I love the little guy boy. Once again, you deliver on the promise. This is the only mob that can be grown yes. underwater. And you can pick them up in a bucket. Yes, and that's actually extra helpful for the tadpoles because we have frog variants. Yes. And when a tadpole grows up, it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up in. Wait, what? For example, if it grows up that's in a really cold place, it's going to turn into a snowy frog. What? Snowy frog, yeah, snowy frog. I want to see it. So Give me the snowy frog. Snow frog. Snow frog. Snow frog. Snow frog. Snow frog. Oh my god, it looks so cute! The first cold blooded animal in Minecraft. And in real life, there actually are frog variants that pick oh a color my gosh. Uh, depending on, like, or they adapt <laughs> their color <laughs> depending on temperature. And we wanted to have that in Minecraft, we wanted to, like, Minecraftify it, so therefore the tadpole's gonna pick a variant instead, depending on, on the temperature. That's so cool, Wait. and there are three variants. Yes, it's gonna be three okay, variants. Okay, so we've seen two, what's Desert, the it's one? desert. The third one is the tropical frog. Yep. Yes. Let's, so let's go, let's go! go. Out into the desert, or the jungle, and you take your, your tadpole with you, and if it grows Oh! Up, that one looks so cool! And I, what I really love about it's the like tropical frog like is how just frog. relaxed they look. Dude, and he's like waddling! Into the sand almost look at the little wild! Oh my god! Yeah. Do, do they have different characteristics? Yes, there, there is a reason they, they are white. So, like, I was reading a lot about frogs. Oh, wait, wait, that's something new. We read up a lot. It's super fun because we can be really geeky. <laughs> and then I learned about this real life frog that's called Grey Foam Nest Tree Frog in, <coughs> for example, in Angola, Botswana, and Kenya. And that frog can actually turn almost white to avoid overheating. So, that's oh. like the inspiration for the tropical frog in I Minecraft. I love all three of them. And you didn't. So. You have these different color variations, but you also have something else special about the frogs. Yes. So different each characteristics. Frog variant's gonna have something unique. Yes. Be useful for the players, but we actually don't even know what that is yet because oh. we're working on the frogs right now. <laughs> that's that is so that's cool. cool. I want to have a little frog. Which frog Give me frog it? armor. Oh, it's gotta be the snowy frog. It looks so cozy. Ooh, Aww. I'm I'm tropical frog. I'm very interested to see which one the community loves yes, the most. I just or I love mean, them all. all of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for joining us, Corey. And uh, I'm so happy right now. Dive of all I got what I wanted. I got the swamp yeah, update. The swamp is thank so you. useless. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Finally. <laughs>
I like that. Better. You 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 could store this the fireflies in a bottle bucket, for sure. I mean, I really There's no way you can. Yeah. And you can place them down as light. You get a oh, that'd be sick. In it. Yes, and I love the contrast. Yeah, as you can see in this pretty concept art, it's really like that beautiful nature and the super terrifying deep dark, and I love that contrast between these two things. It's absolutely amazing. I was saying, well, like, you... We're getting close to the end of the show, and uh, as always, the uh, time has flown by. And a no, it has okay. not. During this show. Spoil it. So let's look back at some of the biggest announcements, and then yep. we will reveal the winning mom. Come on, Ella! Hey. Yep, it's coming later this year. Cool. Let's go! I'm so happy that they actually did. <laughs> they actually updated the swamp. I, ju I just tweeted about it, too. I'm so happy. Look at him! He's so cute! I'm... I'm cool with mud blocks. I'm cool with it. I'm very interested to see what, what, what else they're gonna add in, in the... in the deep dark. That's so funny that they that they just ignored the vote again and they're like we want to do boats with chests again. Now it's time to see what mob you chose to add to the game. Come on! Do you have the results? Hello, oh. let's go. Right Jeb <laughs> Jeb wow. uh, doing it. Okay, Jeb. Jeb. Come on, Jeb. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ella. Ella. Come on. Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Yes, I'm super we win these! We won, game. boys! That is so, so exciting. So, Agnes, the LA when did won. everyone expect the LA? So, the LA will be included in the Wild Update, and it's going to be released next year. Next year, the Wild Update with the LA. I can't wait. Thank you all so much for joining us. Okay, My I get to exper ODB, experience the heck out of that all of you mob. I can't Studio. wait for Ford. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, I'm tweeting. Uh, I'm tweeting about the LA. Post a picture. 